Hi guys, it's Sebastian back with another video for you today. I've got a guest here with me. It's Fabrice from Sense of Wood. Hello. Uh, he's here in San Francisco launching at uh, Ministry of Scent. That's right. We have an uh, event that, tomorrow. That's tomorrow. But we're doing a video of uh, smelling all of the fragrances. There's 32. 32. 10 perfumers and we've categorized them by different perfumer. And so we're going to tell you what the fragrances are all, all, all about. Either way, find out about Sense of Wood coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. This is Fabrice. Uh, we're here uh, discussing Sense of Wood fragrances. So uh, tell me a little bit before we get started with the perfumes, what's going on with Sense of Wood? Well, I always say when I define the brand, I always say three things. I always say we're a love letter to trees and forests. We age our alcohol in wooden barrels. And then I add the third element, which is that we work with some of the greatest perfumers on the planet. And today we're really going to be in exploring this because we have organized the 32 cents that we've mm -hmm. launched over the past two years by perfumer. Yeah. And so we're going to explore them one perfumer at a time. Start Let's with Celine. Let's, Let's start, start with, with Celine. Celine. Very good. Okay, okay, so we're talking about Celine Barrel, French perfumer. And she loves strong notes. She loves notes that have like a lot of presence. She loves notes that project, that have long okay. lastingness, which is why she, I think, as, let's do this completely unexpectedly. Let's start by smelling the fragrance that she's done, which is the fragrance that we've done, that is actually the strongest of them all, and that's Oudin Oak. Okay, I don't know this one. Oudin Oak is... She did patchouli too. She did patchouli too. Okay. But which one is the patchouli? Patchouli and rye. Patchouli and rye. Yeah. Yes. So she did, so we're gonna smell Oudin Oak first, and that's, uh, that was a creation from the first collection. It's very much a Middle Eastern oud. Mm. Extremely radiant, very deep. A little animalic? Oh, very animalic. Okay. Yes. This is like, it's... Uh, this is dirty. It's dirty. <laughs> it's a it or hate it type of reaction. Some people think it uh, smells like a goat in heat and other people smell, <laughs> uh, other people can't wait to wear it at the opera with a tux or a beautiful gown. So. I can see both of those things. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay. All right. So what is this? This is oud in oak. Oud in oak. Okay. okay. Then she did some, she did things that are way lighter and way more um, subtle in their expression, just as multi-layered, but for instance, this one, which is mineral cedar. Which did, what did you say? Mineral cedar? Mineral cedar, yeah. Oh, okay. Which was her um, her homage to Big Sur. Interesting. And the cypress is at the top of, the, wow. of cliffs and there's a little bit of that saltiness to it. I actually like this. You do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm surprised you haven't smelled it yet. No, I haven't smelled it. Yeah. No, it's so good. It's, it's good. It's very I good. like it more than the oud. Oh, you do? <laughs> <laughs> well, you might not be an, an, a Middle Eastern oud type of person. No, I am <laughs> usually, but that one's a little dirty. <laughs> yeah. Well, some people like dirty, you no, see. No, I know. I know some people like dirty. I like a little dirty, but not too much. Okay, this is this really is nice. clean. Yeah, it's clean. I mean, this, it's, in your, yeah. it's good to contrast them to one another actually because that's yeah I can see the inspiration too yeah Big very Sur. much so right yeah and uh, the saltiness and then the, the mineral part of the yeah the cliffs of the ocean I really love Big Sur and I actually like the scent too okay well cool you, you're gonna keep it and wear it next time you go there okay <laughs> <It'll be perfect. laughs> still from uh, from Celine the first fragrance that she that she did for us actually which was a vetiver. Okay. So I love being that a brand about. all about woody notes, we thought, okay, it would be interesting to explore vetiver, of course. And we, to this day, we have four different vetivers. Oh wow! Four woods for vetivers. So it must be a popular note for it's the brand. A, it's a very popular note, and it's also one of my favorite woody notes. Although, as you probably all know, it's this not is a, all about woods. It's not, a, <laughs> but this is not. I mean, interestingly enough, it's classified as a woody note, but it's not a wood. It's a. Mm. Um, oh. It's a grass. It's good. And this vetiver was. It's very much. Um, it's as classic. And, and and chic as a vetiver can be. I can see those two words, classic and chic, right? together. With a little bit of a, of a hint to maybe the, 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 the Guerlain's vetiver. Um, from I think, the, from I the think 50s, it's there, right? yeah. I think uh, it's there. But a little bit woodier. Interesting, yeah. No. Yeah, I can see that. I think she did a beautiful job on this that This is one. really good. Yeah. Great Thank classy vetiver, for sure. Thank you. I agree. Thank you. And then... Still staying with the Celine, Celine, the way Celine, Celine Barrel, <laughs> Celine Barrel. Yeah, she did. She 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 had this sudden inspiration. She was because I, I I speak a lot about Japan because of the I'm I'm in I mean in love with Japan and our bottle is inspired by Japanese ceramics mm. as you know and we have Japanese in our logo like those characters meaning um, Shinri Nyoku meaning uh, uh, forest bath right okay. forest bathing yeah and so she did a she did a fragrance that was she had smelled and drank and drank uh, uh, umeshu the plum alcohol mm. that the Japanese love and she mixed that with sandal with sandalwood sandalwood interesting and it that. It 
it results in this green, green woody note that I think is really cool. Very fresh. Why am I getting blossoms? There's, there's, um, there's like two types of cherry blossoms or plum blossoms. There is no, it's more uh, uh, jasmine oh. and a little bit of tree rose. Interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The combination is acting like cherry blossoms to me. Yeah. Well, um, maybe you just said we, maybe because you said Jap Jap I Japan. Said plum, I said plums. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. It's a plum alcohol. It's like those green plums mm -hmm. that they turn into this this uh, alcohol yeah. called umeshu. So we call that santal umeshu. Well, I think she got the uh, inspiration very perfectly. Yes. And then three more from Celine. Um, this one, well, this one, which I think is probably the, the, the fragrance that we have that is the most emblematic of the brand because it, you cannot, I don't think you can do woodier than this. Okay. It's our scent called Oak in Oak. Oak in Oak. Yeah, and it's an oak scent, aged in an oak barrel. It's all about oak. It's all about that note that is... Ultra woody. Yeah, ultra woody. It's a CO2 extract of, of oak. Mm. It's nice, isn't it? It's very nice. Mm. I like this one more than the last one. Oh, yeah. I like this, yeah. This is... I'm not a big fan of woods. Oh, there's something. <laughs> I mean, just straightforward wood scents. Yeah. If it's nothing but woods, but there's something boozy here. Yeah, for sure. And that's that comes from the barrel. Mm. So as as you guys might re re remember, we we age our alcohol in wooden barrels, and so by doing this, we extract some of the woodiness from the from the barrels, but also sometimes from what spirit has been aged in the barrel before. Mm. This is really good. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't mean. I mean, I didn't mean that. I don't. Yeah, I don't really care for just straight woods. Like some people like cedar. I like a little more things happening with the woods. So I have a few things that you might not be very passionate good. about, and uh, I will. I will. I will point them out to you before we okay. smell them. Okay. Okay. This one you know, and I think you like. It's the patchouli in rye. Yeah. Yeah. I, you can't go wrong with patchouli. This yeah. is a good one. Really good one. It's a delicious fragrance. Yeah. Very sensual. Mm -hmm. Very. Very sexy. Oh, I, I smell. Um, I smell lipstick today. <laughs> It's funny. It's in, in my, in, in my oh, I've, I, I, no, I can see that. And it's like a little violet touch, uh, right? right? And so it's. I mean, it's, this this scent is what what used to be called an oriental scent. Mm. You know, just like it's exactly the, the fits exactly the bill. Um, it's yeah. really super sexy. Yeah, it fine. is really yeah. nice. Yeah. This is great. And yeah. it's called Patrie and Rye, and the, the, the rye whiskey barrel that we aged the alcohol in for this scent was actually gifted to us by High West, the distillery in Park City, with the brand. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's like, it's a bit of a... So you actually work with actual spirits companies? Yeah, we do. We do. So they, they provide the barrels and things like that? Yeah, I mean, in that case, that was the case. Sometimes I find a, I find a, bar, a rare barrel online and I order it. Sometimes oh. I come across somebody oh. who, who knows somebody and That's so on. That's really good. And then the first leather fragrance, we've, today we have two leather fragrances fragrances and mm. I'm just gonna smell the other one in a minute. But so two leather in your collection. Two leather in the collection and this one was the first one which Celine did and that's the last time that she's done and uh, that we'll review today and she her her inspiration was the inside of a leather glo glove. Yeah and definitely I captured. Think, right? This is also a little animalic. Uh, a touch. Yeah. Not as much as the not oud. As, no not as much as the oud. <laughs> Would you like to smell the oud again? No. Just, yeah. <laughs> so this is yeah. Yeah this leather is good. It's good right? Yeah yeah yeah. It's very chic it's very nice. Yeah. Okay, okay. from there we're going to jump to the two scents that Mackenzie Riley has, uh, has okay. created for us. So feminine uh, perfumers. Feminine perfumer. Uh, so um, we're going from one woman to another perfume. That's right. right. Well, we have how many? How many men and how many so, women? So uh, we have one, two, three, four, four ladies. Okay. And men. Okay. Okay. So this is um, this is our second bestseller after Premium Cognac. Oh, really? And it's called Sandalwood and Oak. Interesting. Okay, and it's let's a try very it. multi-layered. A lot of a lot of woody notes in one scent. There's gayak wood. There's pine. There's there's a little bit of cedar. There's obviously sandalwood. There's the oak barrel. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, but there's a lot of uh, of freshness and and airiness to it. I, I, I see some aromatics or smell some aromatics. Yes. There. Yeah. Yeah. I sage. can see why this is popular. Burnt sage is what we probably uh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then she also did our cypress fragrance, mm. which is one of our lightest um, lightest offerings and. I, I, I've worn it a lot. It's really, really quite wonderful. To really? Wear. Yeah. Yeah. All our scents are gender neutral. And this one is brush of fresh air. Very green. Very. Yeah. Yeah. This, is, this is actually really nice. I it's like this really one. nice, right? It always yeah. reminds me of the, you know, the, 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 the cones of the cypress that yeah. are round like this and crackled. I can smell the pine trees actually here. As well? Yeah. Yeah. I like this one more than the last one. Than sandalwood? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I like that greenness here. Yeah, that's nice. Very cool. cool. So that was Mackenzie Riley after Celine. Let's jump to a man and let's choose. Okay, okay let's do. You want to do? You want to do uh, Eve? Yeah, let's try. All Eve. right, let's do Eve. Okay, so Eve. Okay, so this one 
if you don't like like stubbornly uh, woody fragrances, okay. you might not be in love with this one okay, because we'll it's, try. <laughs> it's uh, unless it reminds you of the the benches you were sitting on at, at oh, school. Oh, <laughs> okay. Or maybe the pencils that you were... Pencil sharpener? <laughs> yeah, something like that, yeah. I mean, it's really like, you know, that Atlas cedar. Hmm. Do you like it? This oh, is actually nice. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad. There's something sharp and tart in there. Yeah. Like lemons or citrus. There's a little bit of uh, uh, bergamot on top. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think this is good. But it's cool, right? But I can get the pencil sharpener. You do? Yeah, I do definitely right. get it. Yeah. That's nice. And then, and then um, I was telling you about the first leather fragrance that we did, which was the, uh, the work of Céline Barrel. Mm -hmm. That was the that is our second one, which is softer, okay. rounder. Like suede um, leather? A little bit like suede leather. Okay. Yeah, it's a, very good, it's a very good way of putting it. Um. Oh, okay. I can get... Yeah, this is much softer. Yeah, and not as animalic. <laughs> not as animalic. Not animalic at all. And actually. interestingly enough, you're saying this. There's a beautiful luxury hotel in Park City called the Lodge at Blue Sky, mm. and we've we've done the fragrances for their lobby and for their rooms. And that was the selling point of one of their okay. um, of their um, fragrances. And then they added we they because it's a it's a horse property. We added a headspace of stallion mm. to this thing, to this, okay. and then it became animatic again. And uh, and and it was really nice. It's, it's so. It's, is there like papyrus or cypriol here? Is that no, but I like? but I have cypriol for you. Okay. In, a, in a minute, I have like. All right. Well, you, I, let's interrupt. Let's interrupt uh, Eve and jump to Jean-Marc Chaillon. Okay. With a fragrance that is all about cypriol. Okay. Called papyrus really and acacia. This. Really love this note. Really. It's an underrated note. Well, here you go. So it's cypriol or papyrus? It's well, it's combo. It so smells papyrus, similar to me. papyrus, the, pap the actual papyrus, the, as in Egyptian paper, mm -hmm. was extracted and made out of the cypriol plant. Ooh, wow, this is good. You like that? This is good. This is also kind of gourmand. Well, I mean, it's interesting that it's some. I, I don't smell the gourmand in there. I'm but getting you're dough. Not the, you're not the first one who says that. Bread. Really? Well, before it's become bread, the dough. Okay. Interesting. So we're not going back That's to delicious. Jean. We're not going back to uh, if Casa immediately since you're talking about bread. Okay. Here's bread and chestnut for okay. you. Okay, I know this one. Uh, this it, one's good. It's a delicious fragrance. This is good. It's the work of Maeve McCurtain, uh, who is an Irish perfumer. She lives in Paris. Mm. Uh, she's she's so wonderful, and and uh, it's very much to her image actually. This this, this fragrance. is pretty. Yeah, this, this yeah. is very cozy. And it's a it's a cozy gourmand. Yeah. Right? Really, yeah. It's a gourmet for yourself. It's mm -hmm. a gourmet that you don't share. It's personal. Yeah. yeah. I like this a lot. You do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. All well, right, let's go back. Good. Let's it's go softer, back. It's softer, for, for sure. It's softer than the previous fragrance. We abandoned Jean Ma uh, uh, Yves, so let's go back to Yeah, Yves. why did we do that? <laughs> well, we're because we jumped. We're jumping all over the you place. You spoke about preparing. My editor's going to be <laughs> like, what's going on here? <laughs> so, okay, so uh, Eve did. Well, let's start with Birch and Acacia because that's pretty much where we left him. We left him at the, uh, at the uh, very woody... Birch and Acacia. This is Birch, birch and Acacia. So a birch fragrance. Acacia, Acacia is Acacia, uh, Acacia mimosa, barrel. right? Yeah, it's, the, it's the, the tree. Well, it's the same family, but it's not the same. Mimosa is low and the bur um, a bush and the Acacia is an actual tree. Ah, uh, okay. Um, and that, that one is very... It's the one that is the closest from a... It's the closest to what I see every day in my life, living in the, in the Rocky Mountains in Park City, mm -hmm. surrounded by birch and aspens everywhere. And uh, I really like the scent because it's really, it's, it's close to my eyes. It's not my favorite, sadly. It's, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Well, can't love them all. <laughs> you can't, especially when there are so many, right? I know. And now I'm sure. Thirty-two. <laughs> I'm sure I can make you fall in love with the next one. Okay. Okay. Thirty-two uh, fragrances in two years. Thirty-two fragrances in two years. Yeah, that's well, a lot. Because that's of a lot. Because of the subscription. Okay. You know. Um, uh, all right. So next year it'll be what? Next year, well, forty. Well, no. So for for this year. We're not launching any fragrances outside of our NFT subscription. Oh, okay. So that people can build their own subscription for the for a year and choose. Okay. Thinking. Cool. This one is wow. Eve's. It totally discolored the paper. Uh huh. Well, I, look at the color of the scent. All right. Um, it's Eve's. Ooh, I like this. I knew you would. Yeah. So it's Eve's abstract rendering of a, a tree that doesn't have a smell, which oh, is wow. ebony. And ebony is that deep. Profound, like beautiful, dark. dark right? It's so, it's so. This is really good. It's heavy that it it it, it doesn't float. Mm. It sinks in water. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And that, and you find that this depth. Is really good. 
Yeah, <laughs> it's really cool. You find that depth in, in that fragrance. It's, 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 it's what is it called? Ebony in oak. Ebony in oak. Okay. I was almost thinking ebony in ivory. Oh, I should have. Well, you can, you can order ebony. <laughs> That's a song. <laughs> you can, I know. You can order ebony in oak in an ivory bottle. Oh, because okay. we have that, as you cool. know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and the last fragrance that uh, that Eve did was uh, is an oud, but not an animalic oud like the oh. one that you first smelled. Okay, okay. This one is, I mean, you're going to like this You started one. with a bang with that animalic oud. I know, oud. <laughs> I know. That's it. Usually you end like that. This one is oud in acacia. Oh, so okay. it's actually, it's actually an, an oud iris or oris rather combination. So it's a floral oud. So you did two acacia scents with Eve Kassar. Yes. I like this acacia scent much more than the last one. Yeah. Well, that's so. So we used we used the acacia, uh, the acacia barrel in birch and acacia because the acacia barrel brings like white floralness to mm -hmm, the fragrances. Mm -hmm. Here we chose it because we oh, it was really going good. to be overpowered by the wood anyway, and we just liked the scent so much. We thought, okay, let's not put an oak barrel because it's going mm. to bring something else, and that's why we ended up doing yeah, this. Yeah, this is really good. It's really nice, right? Yeah, wood and acacia. Wood and acacia. Yeah. Yep. All right. So okay, now let's so explore done. the work. Let's go here. Natasha? Yeah. All right, let's do Natasha. You remember the you remember the bread yeah. uh, gourmand mm -hmm. that you you said was uh, what did you say it was uh, cozy? Cozy. So this one is a gourmand that is anything but cozy. It's oh, okay. a it's a very expressive gourmand. Oh wow! It's called That's the kind of gourmand I like. <laughs> it's co it's called praline and maple. Um, and it's a very Canadian story. Natasha is the only perfumer from Canada that, in the world, mm. and she created this gourmand that is. And for I this, this one. for this, this I found really I found a barrel. I, I I love telling that story. It's the third life of the barrel in which we aged the alcohol. the The barrel was made out of American oak in Kentucky. Aged uh, they aged bourbon for ten years in it, and then um, a gentleman who is a man who produces maple syrup in Canada mm -hmm. bought the barrel, brought it to Cape, Quebec, and then aged uh, maple syrup in. For three years, and then I convinced that 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 person to sell me the barrel, and then we've been aging an alcohol in it. Oh, so wow. you have the maple syrup, you have the bourbon, you have the uh, oak, and then you have everything. You, you actually get the smell of the maple here. It's pretty cool. I <laughs> use maple syrup quite frequently, and I can smell it. And it's it and it isn't it delicious as a, as it, a it's yeah it smells as good as you can want to taste it. Exactly. You don't want to do that though, but yeah, <laughs> taste that. It, it smells yeah. tasty. And just to show you the extent of the talent of Natasha. I'm going to um, have you smell now a vetiver. Mm. There's actually a floral vetiver. So floral in, in, in fact that we named it Vetiver in Bloom. Oh. Vetiver in Bloom being obviously a, a joke. Vetiver doesn't bloom because vetiver doesn't have flowers. But in that particular case, she mixed it with one flower and created that deliciousness. Ooh. Oh. So nice. This is really bright. It's really bright. Can you recognize the flower? That one flower that every perfumer dreads working with because it's been... Wait, 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 wait. It's lilac. It is lilac. I love lilacs. It is lilac. Love, love, uh -huh. love lilacs. Wow. Uh -huh. What is this called? It's called Vetiver in Bloom. Wow. That's delicious. That's really good. It's very good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it too. I'm obsessed with lilac flowers. And then... She did. So she did three scents for us that are completely different from one another. Mm. The the praline and maple that is this gourmand, this exuberant gourmand. Yeah. The that floral that you just the floral vetiver that you just smelled, and That's then this really one good. which is called oud in Calvados. Oh. Okay. Calvados being this, um, this Calvados. apple brandy <laughs> that uh, that people in Normandy drink in the this middle. Is really <laughs> in the middle of a meal in order to digest faster and so that they can eat more and so it's an apple super strong apple brandy you just get a shot like it's this. It's so strong and oh my she, God. so we, we got a barrel from that and then we aged that wood fragrance in it and it's like it's, it's an wood apple deliciousness this, right? The, the apple in here kind of reminds me of childhood. Oh really? Yeah. Oh nice. But it's really good. This is really good and boozy. Hi Instagram we're not forgetting you. <laughs> Hello. Hi guys. <laughs> so no, this is you know I really like all she did three? She did three. All three of her fragrances are great. I mean, you're the, I think you will already be on twelve. So if you're on the subscribe, yeah, this yeah, is really good. Yeah, yeah, this is really good. Okay, let's contrast that okay. with. Um, so we're going from Canada to Japan. Okay. With this scent that was there's the work of uh, a, a Japanese perfumer named Shaki Nomura, and she wanted to do an homage to her, her favorite tree, oh. which is the Japanese cypress. Okay. Um, otherwise inoki. known as inoki. And then we aged that not in an inoki barrel because inoki barrels exist but are so expensive and so difficult to uh, get from move from uh, out of Japan. We ended up buying chips and we age the alcohol with oh, chips okay and then we we filtered it and that's the way we, we introduced it so it's called hinoki inoki just like we have oak in oak 
This one is Nuki Nuki. And it's very, it's a spiritual scent, completely different territory than what Natasha has been, you know, extreme. I really like the smell of Hinoki wood. Yeah. Wow, this is really good. It's nice. This right? smells like a Japanese forest. I've I never know. been to a Japanese forest, but just imagine I've been to a uh, forest many times. Uh, this is really good. It's very good. Really, really good. Yeah. Really good. Okay. Cool. All right, shall so we We got three perfumers left. Three perfumers Let's left. Let's finish the, the, the one offs and then we'll go to uh, okay, very good. Pascal Gorin. So, this is the scent that actually, this scent is, is barely coming out. We just started shipping it this week, so no one really has smelled this vanilla and bourbon scent. Oh, I have smelled it. And you have smelled it because you have a, <laughs> it's really a good. special connection to the founder of the brand. Okay. But <laughs> this is a really good vanilla, actually. Yeah. Really good because it doesn't remind me of other vanilla fragrances. No, it's, it's meant to be like a, it's been like, like a very personal vanilla. It's not a vanilla that it's not meant to be like this it's amber not sugary sweet no. it's very spicy to me yeah that has these woody undertones and ambery touches in the base as yes. well yeah yeah it's it's different it's it's not a sugary vanilla and that's the, quite nice the perfumer who created that his name is laurent le garnec mm -hmm. i know about this perfume french perfumer yeah. based in new york yep all right, all right two, so two fragrances now by carlos benaim yes uh carlos who being i mean no one no famous perfumer doesn't need for introduction. IFF. yeah and one of the greatest perfumers alive for sure. He's, uh, um, He's been making perfumes for a long time. Well, he's 76, so. Yeah. Um, that one is orange and chestnut. Ooh. So it's a very much Ooh. an exploratory. I can smell that. Yeah, an exploratory. That of, is hitting my face without even touching the, the uh -huh. strip. And it wow. has, it's like a spicy, woody, orange exploratory. I get a lot of orange blossom here. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. It's totally overdosed in orange blossom. Really wonderful. It's, uh, it's it, and, and there's Ember Extreme, that molecule that, uh, mm. um, that uh, I have created in That's the 70s. Good. That's good. Yeah. And I know the next one. The next one is really, really... The next one you love, know, right? Yeah, yeah, it's really, really good. It hasn't launched yet, has it? Hasn't it hasn't launched yet. The next one is launching next month, and it mm -hmm. will be the last of our, the 32. Um, and it's called Kashmiran in Cognac. And I really love this idea of doing like this clash between Kashmiran, which Kashmiran is a, I mean, it's a, it's a molecule that is, that is quite subtle and beautiful and woody, and then a cognac barrel, and then pipe tobacco, and then there's, there's something really cool in this it's one. It's really good. You know what there is? There's, there's um, a pinion pine, Mm. Embers. They did a headspace of pinion pine embers, and that's what you that's what you have in there. That that warm notes that goes through. Very cool. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of uh, plumbing cognac a little bit. Well, the cognac barrel. Yeah, they have in common. Yeah, and the cognac barrel is not it's a barrel. boozy, musky, it's, woody. It's not a barrel that goes unnoticed. The cognac barrel. Okay. I mean, it has it has it is really it, it really loads the alcohol with a lot of uh, olfactory information. That's that's amazing. I love it. Yeah, I love it. It's not like a screamer, but the way it smells, it's fantastic. And I think Kashmiran is having a moment, right? Yeah, it's well, a lot of as far as I'm concerned, it always had because I love it, but uh, yeah. It's really, yeah, it's really good. Okay, so, so we've got- And we're left with one perfumer. Yeah. The one who did nine fragrances for, for our collection. It's obviously Pascal Gorin, um, whom I absolutely loved working with and we've become friends. And, and Pascal, if you're watching this, I love you, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's do, let's, uh, let's do, con let's do contrasty, right? Okay. Let's do one light one. Let's start one. with the one that uh, everybody knows about. Okay. Oh, we'll get that out of the way. Uh, very good. Yeah. Let's, let's get rid of the olfactive elephant in the room. <laughs> Plum in Cognac. No, I'm, I'm sorry, Pascal, I didn't call you fragrance an elephant. Okay. Uh, Plum in Cognac. No, it's really good. This is this is uh, this boozy, it, delicious. So good, that, so good. As a matter of fact, that we won best fragrance of the year last year, fragrance extraordinaire of the year, which was quite an amazing honor. So Plumin Cognac, the right amount of original, almost like surprising and unexpected, and at the same time seductive and easy to fall in love with, mm -hmm. which is a very different, diff difficult line to walk. Right, surprising people with something that they fall in love with easily. Yeah, you know, and that's wh that's how you win the type of award that we won with this, and that's and it's such a wonderful scent. It is really beautiful. very boozy, boozy wood, boozy woody. Yeah, this is really great. You know, I actually took that original 10 ml that you had sent me like back in 2020 when you first launched. Uh -huh. Before I launch. took it to Europe with me and I wore it because I found it recently. You and did? Like, yeah. Oh. I mean, I have to take little bottles with me. I don't take the big bottles with me <laughs> to travel with. But this smells so good. Even in the heat, this smells fantastic. Really, yeah, really love this. Yeah, it's a this. great scent. It's a yeah. great scent. All right, so let's contrast that with my second favorite from, from Pascal, which is Cedar and Acacia, mm. which was one of our very first fragrances. Um, Seem to be using a lot of Acacia in your fragrances. Yes, yes. With, because it's the, it's, the, uh, it's the easiest barrel to work with. Oh, okay. The one that uh, is see. the... So that is that cedar ginger cord, 
um, that you probably remember. Yeah. It is so delightful. This is very gingery to me. Mm -hmm. I like that about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very sharp and... Sharp is a good word. Zingy. Actually. It's zingy. It's got that bite, that ginger bite when you, you know, bite into it for sushi. Yes. Yeah, it's yes. really nice. All right. And then Pascal did an oud for us called um, oud in bourbon, which is... Oh. Yeah, you might remember it's the oud coffee ambery accord. Okay. Um, so a little gourmandish. A, a touch, a little boozy as well because the the bourbon barrel, just like the cognac barrel, mm. is quite uh, heavy. Oh, I like know? the color of this one. It's green. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. This has a kind of a Christmassy element to it. I don't know where I'm getting that. The green. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is good. This is oh, really good. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. 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 Mm. This is nice. Then this. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Neroli Nekesha. Neroli Nekesha was uh, Pascal's version of Eau Sauvage for the 21st century. Oh, wow. That sort of thing. I love Eau and, Sauvage. Yes. And, uh, and I think it did, it did something really quite special. So Neroli in a... That's Neroli Nekesha. How many Acacia fragrances do you have? I think out of the 32, we've used the Acacia barrel uh, in nine times, I think. Wow. Oh, eight times. Yeah, a quarter. Okay. Yeah. Very Neroli. Very Neroli. Very, very fresh. fresh. Yeah. Very, very floral. Very summer-like in Capri. Mm -hmm. Type of thing, right? Yeah. This is really nice. I love wearing it. Yeah, that's very fresh. I love wearing it. And then, recently launched, Pascal did this, which is quite kind of a gem. So this is meant to be a dry gourmand. Okay. And the way he went there was by using hazelnut. Very interesting. Interesting, right? I can see the dry gourmand. It's it's it, nutty. Yeah, it's it's our first nutty woody fragrance. Not sticky sweet at all. No, 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 no. no. It's not roasted either. It's gourmand light. <laughs> it's gourmand dry. Yeah. If you're on a diet, this is the gourmand you need. <laughs> Good. All right, and then, oh yes, this is oh well, this one actually, okay. um, vetiver and chestnut. Ooh. So, our fourth vetiver. Um, Fourth and final. Fourth and final. Four and four vetivers, huh? Yep. And this one. Do you do you find vetiver as popular as your brand with your brand? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. What was this one again? Vetiver, vetiver in chestnut. Vetiver in chestnut. Yeah. With a little bit of licorice. Okay, that's what I'm. I'm, right. I'm thinking. There's a mintiness there, but it's the licorice. Yeah, it's a fresh vetiver. So we have a, 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 a floral vetiver. A fresh that vetiver. floral vetiver is amazing. Yeah, you treat, you treat this her. is not my favorite. There's a mintiness there for some reason. Um, okay, I'm going to redeem Pascal and myself by having you smell this. Okay. Which is called cedar in flower. Cedar in, um, in um, flower, yeah. Cedar in flower. Just like vetiver in, vetiver in bloom. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. So, and this. This is better. Yeah. This is very nutty though. It's a rose cedar combination wow. with, and indeed there's a little bit of. Yeah, that's yeah. delicious. What is this? Cedar in flower. Cedar in flower. Which is like vitreo doesn't bloom, cedars don't have flowers, but mm. we just went there. That's really good. It's really nice, right? Really, really good. All right, and then we have two left, guys. Okay, two. Two, two, two. All right. Only two more. One is. Out of 32, we've got two more left. One is this homage by Pascal to a fragrance from the 50s called Pinot Silvestre. Oh, I know which, that. Which, of fragrance. course, you know, because. Hello. Because you have. Only have what? I don't have Pinot Silvestre. 3,500 fragrances around us. But I, I know that fragrance. I need to get a bottle just to keep here. And so we tried to do an, an, a modern Pinot Silvestre. And I really, I really love it. Oh, it smells like, I can see this. It smells like being in uh, Biarritz or in the south, you know, the southwest of France, in the pine, in the pine uh, groves there. I've driven there. You have? I know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. With the jump. Yeah. Okay. yeah, this is definitely piney. Yeah. Yeah. And the last one, the last okay. fragrance by Pascal, the last fragrance for us today. Okay. And the 30 seconds in our, in our exploratory is called Oak in Oak in Bourbon. Oak in Bourbon. And just to just to finish on a um, spicy, aromatic, star anise ver explor exploration of, uh, of oak. Yeah, um, this is a little more subtle. Yeah, but it's nice. Well, it's because pleasant. we started so we yeah we started yeah. big and ending on a <laughs> in a calm note. <laughs> exactly. And cool. Th and that was 32 guys. Wow. That was we did 32 fragrances, speed smelling. <laughs> that was pretty nice though. <laughs> so the idea, so choose 12 out of 32 and you can build your own, your own subscription. Um, that's what it is. And that's what, that's what it is. And I mean, I think you would have a hard time uh, narrowing it down to 12. You said, I love this more than 12 times. Yeah, I did. So I did. Yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah. No, uh, I think the collection is really good. Uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this looks pretty nice. Yeah. 
So if you guys uh, are in the Bay Area, you can uh, stop into Ministry of Scent to uh, find the fragrances. What, what fragrances are they selling there? They have, I believe they have nine of them. Uh, okay. they, the best, popular ones? The best sellers are Plum and Cognac, Ebony in Oak, Sandalwood in Oak, uh, Nero in Acacia, and mm. then they, they fell in love like you did with Vanilla and Bourbon. So, yeah. Cool. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. Thank you so much for doing this as well. It was well. a pleasure. <laughs> anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye-bye.